Hi everyone, Mel here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well. I hope you're having a fab crafty week so far. What have you been up to? Let me know in the comments. Today I thought we'd do something a little bit oldie, shall we say. I designed this piece uh, be two years ago almost now for the Hunky Dory magazine, this fab flower cart, as you can see here. And I thought it would make a fantastic gift and card in one. And with Mother's Day coming up, in the UK I thought it would just be the perfect time so I'll pop a link below to the download which is free and also to the magazine in case you want to see anything else I created for that or any of the other fab designers did also I have dug out lots and lots of pattern papers as I do you know I like to hoard them so I thought oh, wouldn't these be fab I mean look at that it just screams summer doesn't it that one and then you've got the floral one and then I thought oh a bit different a wee bit more sophisticated maybe but I also found this and I thought now that would be perfect on the sides of the flower cart you can use anything you want any papers you don't even use papers you can just use your cardstock and it'll be fine as is now I'm going to go and cut everything out I'm going to size it up a bit as well I'm going to size it by 20% I just want it a little bit bigger also it looks better on the video to show you how it's made so I'll go and do that but before we get that done please i know i go on and on and on if you like the video give it a thumbs up it really really helps my channel and if you're not already please subscribe hit that bell button to get notifications sorry of my upcoming videos so let's get started so i have cut everything out on my silhouette and i use this fab pattern paper it's a really really old one american crafts i think it's at least five years old so I've cut them out and I also made another layer. So first of all, I'm going to use one of my Copics and edge everything just to bring the colours all together and to take away the harsh white line. For the layers that need folded, I'm going to fold these first and then I'm going to use my pen but I'm also going to ink it sort of one way and then the other. It's just that when it's folded, sometimes you can still see some of the paler yellow peeking through or whatever colour you use and I just don't want to see that so I will colour this way and then you'll see me, I fold it back over and colour the other way. Now that I've got all the layers inked on the edges, all I'm going to do is start building everything up. So first of all, I'm going to glue the layers together and then I'll glue it onto the main parts of the flower cart. Now what I want to do is glue my wheel layers together. So I've cut out eight. You don't need to do this, four is enough, but I want mine to be nice and sturdy. So I'm just gluing eight together, four one way and four the other, if it's a textured paper, just so you can see the texture on both sides. Then I'll glue my pattern layer on. We 
We want to make the flower cart supports really sturdy, so I've cut an extra two layers for each of the supports, and so in total there'd be three, but you could cut more if you want it even sturdier, but I find the three was just enough, so I'm just gluing these together, one on top of the other. For the little inner for the flower cart, all you're going to do is fold them inwards because it tucks inside. Then you will add glue to the tabs and glue these inside too. Next we want to make up the supports for the wheels. So all I'm doing is adding glue along the large tab and making sure I glue on that little half circle as well and gluing that to the inside. Once that takes hold, I'll add glue to the almost triangle shape and glue the square sort of tab on top, at the top and the bottom. To make up the flower cart itself, you're going to take the two side panels and when you're looking at it, what you want to do is see that your two larger sides, top and bottom, you're going to glue the smaller of those to the actual cart. You'll see here me showing you, but first of all, all I'm going to do is glue on my layers, then I'll glue everything together. Now we're going to add on the leg supports and what you want to do is make sure you glue these on the right direction. You want to put the sort of triangle bit to the smaller side so the po small point is pointing downwards towards the large side if that makes sense. Just as you can see in the video, this is where you want to do it. Add your glue, then glue one on top of each other, then glue on the last panel to cover up these two supports. Then you will add in your decorative panel to the inside. If you don't want to add the decorative panel, just leave this off. We need to make a support for our wheels so that it'll turn within the actual wheel supports. So I've got a scrap of card here and what I'm doing is curving it and then I'm going to roll it as tight as possible to make a small cylinder and then I will make sure that it is still smaller than the hole in the wheel but not too small that it's really wobbling about if you know what I mean. Then I will trim it, glue it in place and then we will feed it through the first support for the wheel and glue it to the inside.
once the glue is dry on the one side, you want to pop the wheel on and pop the second support on top and mark the sort of width. You want to leave a tiny space, just enough so that the wheel is moving freely. Mark it with a pencil, then trim it to fit. Once you've done this, then you can pop the wheel back on and the support and glue in place. Now make sure you don't get glue anywhere else but in that little support space. So I found this all lovely and it looked great, but as you can see, I mucked up. So what I done was glued the wheels on the wrong way. So I've had to create another layer, so I'm gonna glue that on and I've cut another layer for the base. So after I've added the pattern layer on, I will put on the layer and the wheels in the right direction. So I glued the wheels with the wheel itself pointing towards the small end, but it should go towards the large end. Luckily I could save the wheels but I had to make another base to pop on. So I'm going to glue this on then we will glue our wheel supports to the base of the flower cart. Now you want to make sure the ends of the wheel supports are flush with the small end of the flower cart. Then you can add a wee dab of glue to the leg supports and push them so sort of against the wheel support this will help everything stay in one piece just don't do like i did and glue it the wrong way Now that we've got the wheel support in the right place we're going to add some handles so to make the wee handles i made another cylinder piece just similar to what i made that fits in between the wheel but slightly smaller i've made it longer than needed cut it in half and i'm going to glue this to the small end of the flower cart Now it's time to add our flowers. So I have got some mulberry flowers, but you could make your own flowers if you want to. You could make paper flowers, you could use silk flowers, anything you want. And all you're doing is filling up this sort of little tree. That's it, nothing hard here. I'm just gonna use a whole load of hot glue so that everything stays in one piece and I'm gonna fill it up to my heart's content with lots of yellows and creams and whites. So that's me finishing adding all my flowers. So I've went with daffodils, my absolute faves, but you can add anything you want. As you can see, it fits in perfect in the flower cart. Now the lid tree fits slightly lower than the rim of the flower cart, so it's perfect if you do really fill it up because it will sit nice and snug then. So don't worry if you've overfilled. 
or you think that it doesn't fit because it's supposed to sit lower. Now, all I'm going to do is decorate. I've got some ribbon here to go round about. I'll add a bow and maybe add some more flowers and glitter and petals and just go crazy like I normally do. But you don't need to do this. You can decorate with as little as as much as you want. Just go and do what you want to do. I'm just giving you an idea. And I'm all finished. What do you guys think? I absolutely love making this. Sorry, you can't really see me turn the wheel. It does move easily. Off camera, I added a whole load more flowers round about. As you can see, I've added them on both sides. I also added some perils. I thought adding some perils to the end of the handle just to hide the sort of rolled up cardboard that I used. Also, I dug into my stash and found a really, really old Martha Stewart punch. It's just the perfect size butterfly punch. And I knew I needed some more color and I thought that would be a way of adding it, bringing some navy from the papers onto the flowers and then adding a few wee gems on top just to make it all pop. I mean, it wouldn't be my kind of make without adding some sparkle. Now, if I had cut this just a little bit bigger at 25% of the original pattern, a gift card would Fit in easily but as you can see it's a little tight but if you cut it at the 20% like I've done you will get a gift card in and it'll just be a little bit wobbly because this is made to sit lower than the top it actually sits quite well but if not you could just add in some sweets a chocolate um, a little piece of jewelry I mean surprise someone nice any little gifts would fit in there just lovely for someone now all I've left to do is add a sentiment. I haven't added one on but because I'm not sure whether it's going to be a birthday or for Mother's Day or even just keep it for myself. I do love daffodils, they are my favourite. But you could add a sentiment on here, on either the sides or even like one that's sort of popping out if you know what I mean, like on a little card. It's just perfect. I will pop everything I use today in the description box below including a link to where you can find the PDF and the SVG pattern. Again, these papers are really old, but if I find anything similar, I will pop it in the description box. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, I know I go on and on, but if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. Now, I'm off to enjoy my 40th birthday, so I will see you next time. Bye!